Hi, I'm Michelle Stanton for Harvard Health Publications. Today, we're going to talk about our special report, Advanced Strength and Power Training. In the kettlebell workout, the basic swing is a key exercise. I'm going to demonstrate it for you here today so you can maximize the strength and power benefits you get from it while minimizing your risk of injury. You're going to start by standing with your feet about shoulder width apart, toes are pointing straight ahead. Hold the kettlebell with both hands down in front, standing nice and tall. You're going to start by hinging at the hips and sitting back as if you're going to sit into a chair. The kettlebell is going to come between your legs and in a nice smooth movement, stand up and let the kettlebell come out in front of you. Swinging the kettlebell, hinging at the hips, and thrusting those hips forward. Squeeze those glutes as you come up. Really work them. Now that's your proper form. You want the back straight, keep the hips underneath you. I want to demonstrate two don'ts. You don't want to round your back while you're doing this. You don't want to be swinging from here. That puts a lot of pressure on that upper back and even lower back and you risk injuring your back. Same thing if you thrust the hips too far forward. So if you're coming out and letting those hips come in front of your body, you want to avoid doing that. Remember, sit back, come up to a standing position, squeeze those glutes. You're going to do 8 to 12 repetitions of this and you'll really feel your heart rate going up. If you follow these tips, you're going to maximize your benefits and reduce your risk of injury. For more information, check out Harvard Health Publications Special Report Advanced Strength and Power Training. For Harvard Health Publications, I'm Michelle Stanton. Thank you for watching.